Welcome back to Creeper World 4. This is one of my favorite games because we're basically just fighting for survival against the creeper. And if you're not familiar, the creeper, well, it's going to emit out of this thing. It's going to travel down these lines and take over these islands. If it gets over here, they're going to fire these giant spores. Now, this is going to be very interesting because this is a true island hopping situation. Now, whether these things fire spores or eggs, well, we're going to have to kind of figure that out. Out, but I'm thinking what we're gonna want to do here is set up our base over here. We got some red on ore for missiles, so that definitely makes me think these things are gonna fire regular spores and not eggs. If you're new and you're like, Baron, I have no idea what's going on, just check out the channel and find some of the older videos to give you a little brief introduction, or you know what, strap yourselves in because we are gonna rematerializing our little uh, our little fortress here. Now I'm gonna put it on this island, a little bit of a raised bit. So the strategy seems pretty obvious. We need to take command of these three islands. Now we were given a new type of structure once we get this thing right here it's gonna allow us to have movers i'm not entirely sure what they're gonna be doing just yet so we, we gotta get a hold of that and we also want to gain access to this red on ore to basically help us defend ourselves so you know what now let's just go ahead and pause the game because look at that see this is the blue creeper just emitting out of there and it's gonna follow these tracks things are gonna get nasty okay so let's see, we're gonna be able to get these red on ore. Let's go ahead and build a factory. And then I think it's time to expand from this island over here. Voila! Oh my God, look at how much is just spewing out of there. Oh yeah, the blob nest, I forgot about that. We're definitely gonna have to deal with that. And one of the best ways to do that was with some snipers. Now, this will probably be, oh wow. We're gonna want a, a sniper here and definitely a sniper back at the base and a missile system as well because I'm gonna try to take command of these three islands. There's also these little terps, which are basically upgrades. We just gotta get to them. Okay, so these things are gonna be emitting in two minutes, 50 seconds, and two minutes and 50 seconds on the blob as well. Ooh, what is that? Okay, we got the new technology. Here it is. Now the game paused. Those that were once remains have left. Okay, I should send porters with energy here. I can use this to stage an assault. Oh, wow, okay. Well, that's gonna be interesting. So the first thing is we gotta defend ourselves, right? So let's continue with that. But then eventually we're going to be using these things called porters. We're going to get our mines up and running. And I'm going to need to run these giant networks over to these areas. So let's continue with that. We're running an energy deficit though. As is typical. And look at that. We've made it all the way over here. Look at these giant power line networks. Okay, so I need to land here and defend. Oh, I see how this works. We're going to have to defend against blobs and spores. But other than that... I'd say we're in a pretty good position. So I'm gonna put a missile system over here as well in all of the areas that I'm gonna expand to. So the porters have to move these guys over there. And we have this thing called an ERN portal, which is for these guys. So we will wanna make some terps. Porters are fun, this is gonna be new. All right, so we just got a little warning alarm. That means in one minute, all of these things are gonna be coming out of here. Now we do have some snipers and missile defense systems are relatively light at this point. I'm trying to build over here. We may not be able to get here in time, we'll see. But I do have these little gun platforms ready to move over just in case something lands. So let's actually do that. All right, let's see where they're gonna fire. In 20 seconds, these things are gonna let loose. So this is the aerial view here. Are we ready for it? I, I'd like to think so. Okay, what? None of them are gonna hit. That's actually very, very good. Okay, good. Gives me a little bit of time and I'm gonna start running my network over here. I'm gonna need some more missile coverage though. So the spores are no threat at the moment. Oh, but the blobs are definitely a threat. Check this out. Oh, they're gonna hit this pylon. Dang it. Now we lost contact with that island. We're not gonna be able to power it. Okay, I'm gonna need some more snipers, which are really good at stopping the blobs. How are we doing? Oh, blob is way out in space, but I think it goes away. I'm not sure. All right, we, oh, and we've already powered up one of the totems here, which is fantastic news. We got missiles on almost all of the islands. Let's see, aerial view, things are looking well. Oh God, Never mind. they're not going well. They hit this. Did they launch seeds? What just happened? Oh man, that's, how are we supposed to retake this? Can I land a mortar there? Oh, I can. Brilliant, okay. The mortar will help soften that up. So we've lost control of this island, which is very unfortunate. Looks like snipers on these islands are gonna be the key to defending ourselves. All right, let's get a terp. So in order to do that, we're gonna wanna build a portal. Where can I put this guy? Right here is good. That way we'll get the terp, getting all those three. We've got our little miner here getting the green R, which is gonna help power us up these things. 
All right, where are these heading? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, so I think at this point, just trying to defend these islands because there's these little situations right here. Okay, I've, I do have a gun here. So once they're in range, he should be firing. I think a mortar would be better. But he'll be able to destroy a little bit of that. This mortar's also trying to weaken some of this to try to retake this island. But look at this. All the while, the creeper is just massing up on this island. And it's proving to be incredibly difficult to probably crack that. All right, we're running a massive energy deficit, I'm just now realizing. So we're going to have to get a lot more mines in. Maybe they alternate between spores and seeds. Otherwise, it just land, uh, landed a perfect shot here. Yeah, so the issue is just running this massive deficit in energy. <laughs> Which uh, I'll, I'll, I'll fix eventually, you know? One of the other ways to do it is just create these towers. Ooh, that's a direct hit here. Let's see, will this missile stop it? Probably not, actually. We're gonna lose this. Oh, we shot it down. Brilliant. Please have another missile. Dang it, we're out of ammunition. It's gonna be a direct hit here and it's gonna take out this. Ooh, yep. Oh my God, it, it barely held. Okay, well, lucky us. And we're running an energy surplus now, so. Ooh, what just happened over there? Oh, wow, we're gonna lose that power line, which uh, means I'm gonna need this one. Okay, now do we not have these terps? We do. Okay, so let's go to the portal and let's upgrade our fire range and then our mine production and energy collection. We'll work on fire rate a little bit later, but right now we just need massive energy upgrades in order to retake these areas and then eventually move over here. I think we'll use this as our, uh, where the porters are gonna take off to from. And I would really, really love to retake this. So let's take these two guys and land them here. It's a little bit of a contested issue, but it should be fine. Oh, this is going to be a direct hit here. As long as these two missiles shoot them down, we're good. I need to retake this island and then we're going to start the landing. But my God, the amount of creeper on these islands, the, the main islands in particular, is just nuts. Okay, we have made landfall here. All right, so I'm going to replace missiles and a sniper here that way we should be able to be protected from blobs and incoming spores and we're retaking this so i should be able to maneuver this guy over here so he starts working on that that way we don't have to build multiples and we'll retake the island and let's go ahead and get this guy up oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. they just it just teleported again do they have some kind of technology that i'm not paying attention to maybe the blobs are going through this totem into this one i don't know where this i don't know where these guys come from i just know that they do oh oh here we go okay they're firing seeds so this is one of the reasons why we need to power this thing up because look this seed pops out from a spore launcher and it tries to get to the uh an unclaimed totem all right incoming over here do we have defense yeah we've got a missile system and then otherwise it looks pretty good there we go oh wow look at these two giant blobs in the middle there that one was shot down another one's coming but we are powering this up it should power up before the seed gets here. Let's see how it skips. Boom! Powered up. Brilliant. So I don't I don't think it's going to be able to make it through there. He, he can't get in. Ah! This is crazy. He can't get in, but can we shoot it? All right. What this island needs is a missile defense network. And then I'd say that we have captured what we wanted to capture. All right. So then we should have three more upgrades available. We'll go with uh, fire rate and then build speed and move speed. All six ERNs have been captured, which is essentially just the uh, capturable piece of technology that allows you to upgrade. Okay, Operation Porter is in full effect. This is going to be the interesting thing because we get to try this out. A porter. Oh, I'm going to build two of them. All right, so how did these work? Whoa. Oh, they fire energy? So let's just fire some energy. Are they just physically moving it? How do I build over there, though? I think I have to... Okay, that's 50 energy. I think how this works is I actually send gun platforms. Can I build a tower? Oh, it powers it. Oh, that's cool. Ha! We're just delivering the energy, and I think as it uses it, these porters are ready. So I'm going to want maybe a few more porters. This is cool. What an interesting mechanic. Because normally you have to connect because you have to power everything, right? That is fascinating. Okay, then we're going to want to start landing towers over there. Do we have... That's, that's air defense. All right, I've got seven mortar towers in construction right now. Wait, then I should be able to just build a weapon system over here, right? 
using the energy from these okay so let's get the other two porters to land this is so cool i love this a lot and so they just automatically do it when you're out of energy they will uh, go back to base get some more so i'm gonna want to have four of them just in case because we're gonna be launching a major offensive from over here so we're gonna probably need multiple porters and in fact since they're so cool why not why not have them operating from other bases maybe some closer ones all right so that's all well and good let's get let's get these towers right here and move them over and just start shelling that's gonna be a lot of energy being used so we'll have two additional porters so we're gonna have six porters and see if that's enough oh they're not getting missiles over here how do we get missiles can i send a missile porter energy blue light red on green R, anti creeper arg and liftic unbelievable Okay, so I will want I will want one of these guys. We're going to have to make another porter. And I'm going to have the porter and we'll have you go red on. All right, so shows the amount of anti creeper arg and liftic. I think arg is the red stuff. All right, so we'll have arg landing over here. Yeah, that is. Okay. There we go. Now we'll have that too. So the missile's defense system here will be able to fire. Now we've got to clear out a little bit of room here and take this. All right, and look at this. We got this is so cool. Oh my god. I, I very much love these systems in this game. I, I know that there's some Air Force units, and it's probably the thing that I'm looking forward to the most. But you can definitely have like some isolated bases using the new mechanic of the porters now. Look at how much liftic we have. We have so much liftic. I don't even think I need I guess I will need liftic to get this totem activated. Alright, so now what we need to do is probably create the little D-Day invasion, as I like to call them. So we'll get six gunnery towers and we'll have these guys delivering energy. I'm gonna, I just wanna have enough energy at all times. Cause I'm gonna land these little guns right here and start really chewing into that island. Go land my friends. Oh, and look at this. I'll be able to put some mortars on these little islands to start chipping away at this. There we go. We have made a successful landing. And look at this man, the porter's just faring back the energy back and forth. The aerial view is quite impressive. All right, we're gonna have a firing situation. Should be able to shoot all those down. And we do have a few blobs running around. Brilliant. Things are going very well. I think it's time to move the mortars. Now it's just repositioning everything and everybody so that they can fire. Now we did upgrade the range on, the, on all of our towers. So that includes the mortars. And now we're making headway over here. So I think at this point, it's like, we definitely got this. Uh, we've got a good situation going for us. I'll probably want some more missiles. Ooh, the blobs were active. And at this point, I can start moving a bunch of my towers over from these rather heavily fortified areas. Aerial view, you can see the progress being made. We've almost captured this island and almost captured this all from our ported landing base over here. Look at all these little energy blocks just ready. It's very well supplied, which makes me happy because that, that would probably be the key. If we weren't able to supply it, we would start losing. And now let's secure this island. I think I'm going to want some more porters just to make sure we'll land energy right on this island and we've got access to this island as well i like to try to double up towers where possible we're kind of running low on energy aren't we though yeah we're running a deficit now okay did we fill up the mines no we actually did not they call them a mine a mine there we go we'll get two more mines in there cover as much surface area with energy production there we go. We're getting that storage up in the upper left. We're using, what, 25 energy. So we do want to run surpluses. And now what I'm going to try to do is make a landing over here. We need first, we need to set up the infrastructure here. All right, a contested landing. Now that we're on the main island, it's getting far more interesting. And look at this. Brilliant. We have made landfall. Let us nullify this threat. Now, how are we doing over here? We're going to slowly start whittling that. And look at these. All these are the little eggs that they had nowhere to go. So this thing's alternating between spores and eggs. And oh, are those the eggs breaking? I think those are the eggs breaking. Oh my God. What is going on with the snipers? Oh, the snipers shooting the eggs. And that's what re is releasing all of it. Oh, I was wondering why I kept hearing sniper shots. Well, now I know. Here we go. The fort. Brilliant. Making fantastic headway. This is a little bit dangerous looking. We'll have a mortar facing backwards. And now what we can do is basically do the same strategy over here. And then we'll just continually push over this way. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea, but we did it anyway. 
Defend yourselves! Dang, these guys need to be continually resupplied. Oh, this guy might need to be evacuated. Yeah, evacuate. Just kidding. Land back. <laughs> All right, let's uh, nullify this one. Incoming spores! Most of those should get shot down, if not all of them. And nullified! Oh my god, that makes me so happy. And we got these four guns to be sending in, because I'm making the final push here. Look at that. They can't stop us, Captain! All right, you start dropping energy closer to the front. Now we just nullify them. And then it's pretty much all of them, except for the emitter, have been nullified now. Ooh, some just blew up. Was that the... The blob took out the emitter. I mean, the nullifier. Dang. Well, he's got a minute 46 seconds, so we just have to build it before he can uh, start dropping those things again. Now, one of the things I should probably start doing is sniping that totem over there. Let's move one of our snipers into position. I don't want to build a new one. Yeah, you hear that sniper just going off? He saw a lot of little eggs over there, and now he just created, like, a giant swarm of creeper. My goodness. Jeez. So now it's just the leapfrog strategy. All right, so what I want to do is see if I can't power that guy up back there. All the while, the porters just keep faring energy back and forth. <laughs> I love the look of this, man. It's almost like we're creeping, too. We just have a different way of doing it. This biological organism versus our, like, mechanical and technological organism that is essentially, like, we're, in we're creeping up on the creeper. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. <laughs> Over here, let's see if we can't see it. Oh, you know what? We don't have uh, someone to transport Liftic, so let's actually switch you to Liftic and drop you right here. That way we'll power this thing up and we'll be able to silence all the creeper for good. And all we need to do is silence this guy, which should not be very difficult. Yes, we did it. We powered up all of the totems. That objective has been activated. Now all we have to do is nullify a glorious, glorious victory. And look at that. They're just constantly just smashing this thing. Nothing's getting out of that. So at this point, it's definitely safe to say that we have taken over the map. And look at that, man. You can see the power lines. There's so many more were made over here on the front lines than back here in the support area. But I think if, uh, I think we're almost there. And then right after this, we'll uh, have completed our primary and optional objectives for a full and complete victory so now we get a rift jump and we gotta move on so we're 60 percent through the storyline here we've got a few more levels the next one is called archon sometimes the best offense is a good defense let's take a peek at this map oh my okay a buried info cache uh i better terraform down to it so a tower can reach it oh that's pretty cool um there's like these solar panel looking things there's a lot of terps. This thing is why energy production is offline. Nullifying it might restore production. Whoa, this is a super weird map. Because you've got these little spore things. They're all going to concentrate their little seeds over here. Oh, there's another info cache over here that's buried. And there's two of those. But I don't see... Is Creeper just going to be coming from the side? What's this yellow circle? A landing zone? Does that mean I can only land in there? No, it doesn't seem like it. That's very strange. I don't know what that's all about. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Creeper World 4. Let me know if you do want to see some more, and I'll see you guys in the next 